guys, it's time for my update on my project product graveyard. So I had four products last month. First one was the YSL Touche Clot Illuminating Foundation. And this was in the shade B40. I finished this whole thing up. I actually depotted it. I turned it upside down for like two days to get all the last product out of it. I really like that the bottle opens so you can do that. So I had depotted it into this little pot and I just used my fingers to apply it. I really, really loved this for a very long time. And using it for the Project Graveyard made me realize that it is really a great product. And I might consider repurchasing this again in the future. It is sheerer coverage. So if you have any spots that you really need to be covered, you will need to use a concealer with it. And also it is luminous. So if you have problems with your skin getting oily throughout the day, you will need to blot and maybe use a setting powder. The finish of this is so beautiful. It really does look like skin and it looks like healthy, beautiful skin. So yeah, this product I would recommend. And I'm really glad that I gave it another try because it kind of was just sitting on my table for a while because I got so distracted by other products that I really loved as well. The next thing I had was my NARS blush in the shade Orgasm. I didn't finish it up because it's quite a lot of product to finish, but I did make a little bit of progress in it. Now I did mark the pan in black marker so I could see how much I had used up, but I think that the marker kind of wore away. So this isn't really a true reflection of how much I had used, like the black mark. I feel like I've made some progress with it. I've used it pretty much every day and I think I made a pretty good dent in it. Next thing was this Buxom Insider Eyeliner in Blue Jade and I have not used it up yet. There's about this much left. But I think in the next couple days it will be used up. It is very old. It's well past the expiration date. So I do notice that the quality of the eyeliner is definitely not where it was when I first purchased this. And I noticed that on Sephora they don't even carry this product anymore. So I'm going to finish this this week. But I'm just going to mark this as a finished product. I started using it just on its own lining my entire eye, but it didn't really look very good that way. The product is patchy because it's so old. It wasn't blending properly. So what I started to do, I'll just zoom you in here, is I line my eyes with my Kat Von D ink liner and then I just kind of add a little bit of the Buxom on top just for a little pop of color just in the center of my eye line. Anyway, so that's what I've been doing with this liner because I do want to use it up and it's not going to get used up as quickly because I'm just using it on the very center of my eyeliner, but there's not much left to it. Just this little nubbin left. I think we can pretty much just say that one's used up. And then the last thing was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Beauty Express for brows and eyes. And I've been using that and I did hit quite a good dent in that one. Since I used up my foundation and I pretty much used up that whole eyeliner, I'm going to replace those two products with two new ones and keep the brow kit and the NARS blush in for next month. I'm going to continue to use those. The first thing that I'm going to add to this is the Kaylin Line Fix Gel Eyeliner. This is a product that I received in my Ipsy bag a couple years ago. And I was obsessed with this eyeliner. I used it all the time, every day. And I have pretty much used it all. But then it was starting to dry out and I got into some other products. So this is how much is left. If your gel liner starts to dry out, you just have to mix it up with a toothpick. It returns it to a workable consistency. So that's what I did. I just really love the color of this. It's a deep purple and I find it really complements brown eyes very nice. I will be working on this and hopefully I can finish it up. Man, you can tell I really loved this because that was full at one point. That's a lot of eyeliner to get through. Final thing is something that's been kicking around in my collection for a while now, and it's the Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Suede Lipstick, and it's in the color Socialite, which is 25. This is the color texture dries up, so it's more matte. This is how much I have left of that. Obviously, I haven't really paid much attention to this product. I bought this at the same time I bought my first balm stain in the color Honey. And since I've gone through two of these and I still have this one, so I really need to just, you know, use this or throw it out or figure out what I'm going to do with it. So that's it for this Project Product Graveyard update. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!